purity seal. Hmm. What a joke. Yes, this is Games Workshop canned purity seal. Hell, they charge you enough for this stuff. And um, this video is a warning about this stuff. Now, I've been using it for, well, years now, actually. And the way I've been using it, because obviously Games Workshop, um, quite frankly, suck so much so that they stopped doing their gloss varnish in a can. And this is the closest I could get to the stronger varnish. And not wanting to have to gloss by hand, I'd, well, I was acting, I was treating the purity seal here like the gloss varnish. I know it's not as strong, but it was doing for me. I was going at it with that and then going at it with a matte spray afterwards because, you know, time is important. And, you know, hell, why don't they do that thing anymore? Jeez. Come on, GW. Right, and, you know, that's it's, it's been fine before in the past. If anything, the matte's the thing that's caused all the trouble. But, new danger, new danger. Because I sprayed my raven wing. Okay, it was raining outside, so I took them to the front porch section and did them on the ground there. And they looked fine once they'd been sprayed. They dried in this really horrible way. It was like a uh, spider's web or something, uh, <clears throat> covered in, in dust and, and, and things like that. Not nice. And... It just coated them in this horrible grey thing that just wouldn't come off. It had this horrible cracked effect. And it had completely ruined the paint job. Everything that I'd painstakingly done. And uh, dulled the vibrant colours right down into just horrible. And I had to decide, gosh, what am I going to do? You know, strip the whole thing down was the advice from some people. Uh, or just try... Uh, I thought to myself, well, maybe try and paint over it and heck why did it even happen you know I'd gone at it with some uh, let's see uh, Lamian medium right I tried painting that all over them and as soon as the Lamian medium went on it made the models wet which was nice and then uh, it got rid of it the whole effect disappeared they looked lovely again where they were wet but then when they dried all that entirety of effect totally came back. So we know that wear helped it. And I went into GW, GW and told them about this issue. And they said they've heard of it before. It rarely happens with their cans. And it can happen with Purity Seal. Why and how did it happen? Well, apparently it can happen if you don't shake the can too much enough. Right? Well, you know, I'm experienced enough to know how to shake a damn can. All right? Uh, this is a new can. You know, the first use of it, and it's completely bollocks up my models. And apparently it can also happen in strange uh, conditions, a change of conditions. So perhaps due to moisture levels. And um, it did almost look like, you know, like moisture had got in the can or something like that. You've got to be so careful. And it's not like you can even do it on a bit of test surface first. Because it was only once it was all dry that I was able to really notice the damage that had been done. So I've lost complete confidence in that thing. They're not going to want to do a refund because in their mind it was just the conditions had changed and if I use it in the can again it'll probably be fine. Well we'll see. We'll see if it happens the next time. This time I'll, I will do it on something as a test object, spray it on and see if it does it again and if it does it again well then I definitely will be making a complaint about it and, and you know my relationship with with purity seal is going to be over effectively so how did i deal with it in the end well i hit it with gloss because gloss is wet naturally and stays wet and i hoped that that would help also on the advice of one of the gw staffers um it diminished about 10 percent of the problem so the rest of it was still there pretty bad all over so it was it was very 
time costly. And a lot of people don't realise this. You can actually paint over varnish. You can do it, all right? So, you know, I went in with the black, cleaned it up a bit, even though it sort of had made it a bit textured. Luckily, the black that I was using in the Citadel range really gives a nice smooth coat finish. So, I mean, it took all of that off and just made it nice and flat again. So, and it took the paint quite well without any sort of need of keying, funnily enough. All of that went on. The reds needed brightening up again. I had to go all through the whole process again, painting on, highlighting, edge highlighting, the whole thing. Uh, cleaned up some of the silvers and, you know, I couldn't get it all looking as nice as it could have looked. Uh, the silvers had to be brought out again. Uh, didn't have the time to completely go at it with a full paint job the way I did initially. But, you know, it was just a case of cleaning up some of the areas. And not everything got got uh, sorted out and, and cleaned up, of course. But, yeah, uh, I've brought them back to a respectable point now. And I will show you that in an upcoming video, the models, the the final job on them and you know I just hope this doesn't happen anymore but you know you've got to be careful with purity seal and, and basically you know uh, after putting all of the uh, the paint job on like that I then glossed over all of that from the pot and then did a matte finish all the way over that from the pot you know it's not what I want to have to do but at the moment, you know, that's the only thing that I know is safe. That really sucks, doesn't it? Okay, well, that's the update on Purity Seal. Beware of it.